Good day, grade 3 pupils. Welcome to our lesson for Mathematics 3, Quarter 1, Week 6, Day 1. Our topic for today is Numbers and Algebra. Ordinal numbers up to 100. Objectives At the end of the lesson, the learner should be able to describe the position of objects using ordinal numbers up to 100. Activating prior knowledge. Review of ordinal numbers. The reference point is the color green bear. Let's answer the following question. What is the position of the blue bear? The answer is in the 6th position. Very good. What is the position of the green bear? The position of the green bear is in the first position. What is the position of the pink bear? The position of the pink bear is in the third place or in the third position. What is the position of the brown bear? The position of the brown bear, it is in the seventh position. What is the position of the orange bear? Very good. It is in the peep position. What is the position of the violet bear? The position is in the second position. What is the position of the yellow bear? It is in the fourth position. Very good, kids! Lesson Purpose Intention To describe the position of objects using ordinal numbers up to 100. Lesson Language Practice What are ordinal numbers? Ordinal numbers tell the position or order of people or things. They answer the question, which one? For easy definition, ordinal numbers tell us who comes first, second, third, and so on, in a line, list, or group.
developing understanding of the key ideas then. Here is the situation. Grade 3 Matatag children are going on a study trip. They are lining up to board the bus. Here are the first 10 children. Look closely at the illustration. If the learners are lined up from left to right, encircle the child who is at the second position. Very good. She is in the second position. The first position. The third one. The fourth one. The fifth. The sixth, the seventh, Eight. The ninth. And the tent. So these are the first row of children who lined up in the bus. Here is the second group of 10 learners lining up in the bus. If the learners are lined up from left to right, encircle the child who is at the 19th position. That's right. The child or the learner who is at the ninth position is near in the right position. So here are their places or their position. Here is the, in the, here is the child in the 11th position. Here is the third group of 10 children. 
if the learners are lined up from left to right and circle the child who is at the given position. You must remember, we're going to find the learner who is in 21st position, in 26th position, and in 30th position. Let's look at them. Here is the learner who is at the 21st position. Here is the learner who is at 26th position. And here is the learner who is at 30th position. Here is the fourth group of 10 children. If the learners are lined up from left to right and circle the child who is at the given position, we will find out the learners who are at the 33rd position, 37th position, and the 38th position. Let's look at them. So here is the learner at the 33rd position. Here is the learner at the 37th position. And lastly, here is the learner at the 38th position. For deepening understanding of the key idea STEM, children are lining up to watch a program in the auditorium. Anna, Leo, and Lisa are in the 75th, 80th, and 84th position in the line. The question is, what is the position of the following children in the line? Number 1. Mel is the third child from Anna. Number 2. Ali is in front of Leo. And number 3. Dan is the fifth child from Lisa. You will be given 10 minutes to answer these questions. Here are the expected answers. Great job, kids! Making generalization and abstraction How can we describe the position of an object of, or a person in an arrangement? In an arra to describe the position of an object or a person in an arrangement, we use ordinal numbers such as first, second, third, and so on. These numbers help us indicate the order of each object or person in the arrangement. Evaluation Children are in line to get their free school supplies. Eve, G, Me, Mel, Rex, and Sab are among them. First, fill in the shaded part of the first row of the chart with the missing ordinal numbers. Next, write each child's name in the second row of the chart based on their position. Here is the chart. Here is the expected answers. Great job today everyone! You listen well, shared your thoughts, and work hard. Keep up the good work. Always remember to count, read, learn, and have fun. See you next time.